All right. It's the end of the day, right? And we're supposed to be doing lightning talks. And they said, they, so yesterday I gave an email, Cece, can you do a quick 10 to 15 minute presentation at the end of the day because we have no lightning talks? Sure, I can whip something together really fast. Why not? So you guys, first off, too, before, before you leave, stop. Can we give a big round of applause to the organizers and all the volunteers? Right now, you guys probably all have devices in your 
pockets or in your hands that can create content. But creating engaging content, that's the real trick, right? That's not easy. Some of us, it's easier for us than others, but engaging content is difficult. But the one who makes the most engaging content wins. Joe is totally right on that. And you guys also need to realize the fact of the matter is you're not just going for your audience, you want your audience's audience. This concept of like Google Plus with circles, the circle metaphor works great. You want to get those other circles, right? You want someone to be so into what you just shared that they go, I'm going to share this with my community who may not know about you. That's what you're really going to always think two jumps ahead or three jumps. Because you can probably get your audience really easy. You send out an email newsletter to your whole database of all your customers. You just reach your inner circle. What about the circle outside? You're going to make it engaging enough that they can share beyond that? All right, so how can you make your video content rule? Speak human. This means be blunt, be honest, be direct. Speak in your customer's voice, right? What's right for you is going to be different for me. The example I'm about to show you will not work for every business. I promise you this is where the bad words come in, okay? But what I do, we put this in the book about speak humans, because you, want, you, know, you don't want to speak in buzzwords, you don't want to speak in lawyer speak, unless that's your audience, right? If you're speaking to a whole bunch of PR professionals, you can speak in buzzwords, because that's all they know, okay? <laughs> Did I get, okay, no, okay. Okay, so does anybody know the Alamo Draft House? Is anybody a movie fan in here? Okay, if you're a movie fan, your homework is to go research the Alamo Draft House. They're, they're, I didn't realize they had more than one, but they're a great little, uh, indie movie house in um, Austin, Texas. This is where the movie fans go. I mean, this is the place where they had a, that they had a screening of Star Wars, uh, not Star Wars, whoops, Star Trek, the, the original movie, and then instead, 10 minutes in, they said, oh, the movie broke, and they did the sneak preview of the first new movie, and freaked out. You know, these are fans, right? Well, the Alamo Draft House is, they, the, watch this video. This is human. This does not work for every brand, I will admit that, but, this works for them. Yeah, I was wondering if you guys actually enjoy treating your customers like pieces of shit. Because that's how I felt when I went to the Alamo Draft Top. Okay? You know what? I didn't know that I was supposed to text in your little crappy ass theater. It was too fucking dark in that place for me to find the seat, all right? I was using my phone as a flashlight to get to my fucking seat. So excuse me for using my phone in USA, in the United States of America, where you are free to text in a theater. I was not aware that I could text in your theater, all right? I texted in all the other theaters and offices. And no one ever gave a fuck about what me, I was doing my fucking phone, alright? And it was a silent. It wasn't on why, it wasn't bothering anybody. You guys, obviously, were being asked with me, and I'm sure that's what you do, you know, to whip people off, take my money, and then you throw me out. You know, I will never be coming back to your Alamo draft house or whatever. I'd rather go to a regular theater where people are actually polite. And it, you know, I'm going to tell everyone about how shitty you are. And I'm pretty sure you guys are being assholes or pussies. So thanks for making me feel like a customer. Thanks for taking my money, asshole. <laughs>
appropriate, but it works for their audience. Unexpected means you're not expecting it from the company that it's coming from, right? So all of a sudden, this video pops up on my screen. It's for a camera store. I'm a photo junkie. I love photography. This is unexpected. If it'll play. Yeah, so if you, if you don't know 
in that video is Google owned properties. You know, this that, that was search results at the end. Right. Search results are boring. Talk about real. I mean, I still get giddy every time I watch that just because it's all data, right? I mean, data is boring, but they reimagined it in such a cool and eclectic way. And I haven't seen them do it with anybody else yet. I've been waiting because they have all these great speakers in. Um, but that, I talk about reimagining content, making it engaging, because honestly, search results, I don't know about, sorry, I know Chris, sorry, I keep pointing to Chris, but I know Chris gets off on looking at, you know, search queries and data like that. I don't. I just don't. But that was cool. All right, insight inspires originality. This is usually one of those boring content rules that I think. But what it means is the more you know about your customer, the more you know about your audience, the cooler and more original video content you can make, or any content, right? But you gotta know your customers, whether it's you know asking them questions, doing polls, surveys. The more you know about them, the more fun stuff you can do. Now Cisco knows that, right? Again, Cisco makes routers. This is IT geeks, right? And so they made uh, they made this video to, to celebrate Father's Day because you know they're big into holidays, obviously. Did, did you know that your father is the ultimate hombre? Oh, it's true. Those stories of walking to school every day in the snow, uphill both ways, true. Of being so poor his sack lunch consisted solely of dirty playground sand, true. And of having to fend off vicious packs of rabbit coyotes with nothing but his bare hands, true. So on this day, when we celebrate Dad, give him a gift that's as burly and barrel-chested as he, a Cisco ASR 9000. Because who wants a wimpy necktie when you can have 6.4 terabits per second? When would cheap cologne ever be more desirable than 400 GBPS per slot? And in what freaking universe would Argyle socks be more appealing than six times the mobile backhaul capacity? Your dad is totally awesome, friend, and his gift should be too. Lucky for you, awesome comes in a box. The Cisco ASR 9000. I don't even know what that thing does, but you know what? I'm not the target audience, right? But they know their audience are, you know, IT guys and girls who are going to get a kick out of this. So for Father's Day, if you ever, by the way, if you want to see on Twitter, uh, Tim Washer is his, his account. He's the guy that comes up with this. And Cisco, I love showing them because Cisco is, for all intents and purposes, a really boring company, right? But they're also a massive company, and they do fun stuff like this. And I think I show it as an example because also when I go to audiences, if there's any B2B people, they're always like, well, we can't do this. I'm like, well, Cisco does it. And you know, if they can do it, you can do it. So I just, I wanted to give you some different videos to look at. The two quick final things, because I don't want to stand between you guys and the beer and everything else over the Nerd Center. Make sure whatever you guys are doing, whatever you leave here inspired to do today and tomorrow, make sure you're moving forward with purpose. Make sure you're sitting down and figuring out, okay, why are we gonna do this? Just because we can set up a WordPress blog and it can do everything for us and we can set up a new you know, TV show that we're gonna do, why? Why are you gonna do it? How are you gonna measure the success of it? If you can't answer those two things, stop. Just stop right now and figure it out. Even if it's just over lunch, figure out what you're gonna do, but make sure you're moving forward with purpose. Just saying, I'm gonna go do this because it sounds like fun, it's fine if it's just for you. Don't get me wrong. If it's for a client or a business, just because you can doesn't mean you should. So just think about it and move forward with purpose. And the most important rule, and we call it our 12th content rule because it's not in the book, but I think it's the single most important thing. Remember when I was talking about when I was a kid and you were a kid and we all, we all did this stuff right? Please, always remember to have fun in what you do. I picked humorous videos on purpose because it was the end of the day and if I showed anything serious, we'd all fall asleep, right? You gotta have fun doing this stuff. It's a blast. Yes, technology can be a pain. Yes, it can be frustrating. Yes, you're gonna have days where you're gonna wake up and go, I don't wanna do this. I don't wanna write a blog post or create a video or something. We all do that. If anybody tells you they don't, they're lying. We all have those days where we don't wanna do it. So have fun with it, push forward, and let's have fun doing this. Now let's go over to the Nerd Center and have a good time. Thank you guys.